Glenn Troy Stegman of Wahala, North Dakota, is facing a string of criminal charges following an incident in that town. According to court records, on April 7th, just before 7 p.m., a deputy was on duty for the city of Wahala and received a phone call regarding unknown trouble involving Stegman at the Old Crow Bar in Wahala. As the deputy approached the bar, he observed Stegman exit. The deputy made contact with Stegman and questioned him about his bond conditions. Stegman admitted to violating his conditions by consuming alcohol inside the bar. At this point, the deputy advised Glenn he was detaining him uh, while he confirmed his bond conditions and Glenn fled on foot westbound on Central Avenue. The deputy entered his squad car to pursue uh, Stegman but lost sight uh, the deputy circled to the last known location. A bystander flagged him down and stated they witnessed uh, Stegman enter an unattended vehicle parked on Central Avenue. A search of the vehicle with the permission of the owner resulted in the discovery of Stegman hiding in the back seat with a jacket covering him. Uh, the deputy ordered Stegman out of the vehicle while using less lethal. Uh, Stegman complied with his order to exit the vehicle. As he went to place handcuffs on Stegman, he became non-compliant. Deputy used physical force to get the handcuffs on Glenn and to get him in the squad car, uh, but he continued to be non-compliant. Uh, the deputy ordered Glenn several times to place his leg inside the squad car. He refused to do so. A bystander stopped to assist. Physical force was used by the deputy and bystander to try and get Glenn's leg inside the car squad car. Physical force was ineffective. Uh, the deputy gave uh, Stegman multiple commands to place his leg in the side the squad car before uh, using his taser. Stegman uh, was hit twice in the leg with the uh, taser, which was ineffective both times. Once assisting deputies arrived on scene, Stegman became compliant and placed his leg inside the squad. The owner of the vehicle searched the back seat where Stegman was hiding. A holster containing a knife with a blade of 7.5 inches was discovered that did not belong to the owner of the vehicle. It was taken into custody for evidence. Stegman has been charged with a pair of felonies, breaking into a vehicle unarmed, uh, possession of a firearm or a weapon by a convicted felon, and two misdemeanors of disobedience of a judicial order and refusal to halt. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.